In this video, I am going to explain non-traditional machining processes. The aim of the session to familiarize the students with non-traditional machining processes and instructional objectives. This session is designed to know different non-traditional machining processes and classify non-traditional machining processes. What are the learning outcomes? At the end of this session, you should be able to understand the non-traditional machining processes and what is the need for non-traditional machining processes. Non-traditional machining processes also known as unconventional or non-conventional machining processes are a group of manufacturing techniques that are used to remove material from a workpiece in a ways that differ from traditional machining methods such as the cutting or grinding etc. These processes are typically employed when traditional methods are not feasible or efficient for certain materials or shapes. Non-traditional machining processes can be classified into different categories based on their underlying principles or characteristics. Classification of non-traditional machining processes. Now let us see that the first classification is electrochemical processes. Electrochemical processes involve the conversion of chemical energy into electrical energy or vice versa through redox reactions. These processes rely on the movement of ions in an electrolyte and the transfer of electrons at an electrode. Electrochemical processes play a crucial role in various fields including energy conversion, material science, environmental remediation and chemical synthesis. Thermal processes so in this uh, thermal processes involves the use of heat to bring about physical or chemical changes in materials. These processes utilize the transfer of thermal energy to alter the properties of substances or to induce specific reactions. Thermal processes have wide ranging applications across industries including manufacturing, construction, energy production, material science and chemical processing. These processes require careful control of temperature, heating rates, cooling rates and process parameters to achieve the desired outcomes while ensuring safety and product quality. Next, mechanical processes. Mechanical processes involve the use of physical forces, tools and machines to shape, cut, join or alter the properties of materials. These processes typically involve the removal of material through mechanical action, deformation or the application of force. Mechanical processes are versatile and widely used in various industries including manufacturing, construction, automotive, aerospace and consumer goods. Now let us see that what are the sub classification of these process. Now let us see first electrochemical processes. It is sub categorized into electrochemical deburring. Electrochemical deburring is a process used to remove burrs from metal work pieces using electrochemical dissolution. Burrs are unwanted raised edges or rough surfaces that occur during machining operations such as the drilling, milling or turning operations. They can affect the functionality performance and the aesthetics of the final product. So, electrochemical deburring is commonly used 
in industries such as automotive, aerospace, medical devices and precision machining. Next classification is electrochemical grinding. Electrochemical grind, grinding is a hybrid machining process that combines the principles of electrochemical machining and conventional grinding. It is primarily used for the precision machining of hard and brittle materials where traditional grinding methods may be challenging or ineffective. Applications of electrochemical grinding include the manufacture of cutting tools, aerospace components, medical devices and precision molds. It is often used for producing complex geometries, sharp edges and fine surface finishes. So the next classification of electrochemical processes is electrochemical machining. Electrochemical machining is a non-traditional machining process that uses the principle of electrochemistry to remove material from a workpiece. PCM is particularly suitable for machining complex shapes, hard to machine materials and delicate components with high precision and accuracy. This electrochemical machining finds applications in various industries including aerospace, automotive, medical, electronics and precision engineering. It is commonly used for producing the complex molds, turbine blades, fuel injection nozzles, micro components and surgical implants. Next coming to the under the thermal processes, the electron beam machining. Electron beam machining is a non-contact machining process that utilizes a high energy electron beam to remove material from a workpiece. It is a precision machining technique commonly used in industries that require high accuracy and intricate shapes such as aerospace, automotive and medical device manufacturing. Electron beam machining is a precise and versatile machining process that finds applications in industries where high accuracy, intricate shapes and fine details are required. The next classification of thermal processes are laser machining. The laser machining also known as laser material processing or the laser uh, cutting is a non-contact machining. It is a non-contact machining process that utilizes a high intensity laser beam to remove or alter material from a workpiece. It is a versatile and precise method widely used widely used in various industries including manufacturing, electronics, automotive, aerospace and medical device production. The next classification of thermal process are electrical discharge machining. Electrical discharge machining also known as spark machining or spark erosion is a non-traditional machining process that uses electrical discharges to remove material from a workpiece. It is commonly used for machining complex shapes, hard materials and parts with high precision. EDM is widely used in industries such as aerospace, automotive, medical and electronics where high precision and complex shapes are critical. Next coming to the mechanical processes. This water jet machining. Water jet machining. Then abrasive jet machining. Ultrasonic machining. So these are the, the classifications under the electrochemical processes, thermal processes, and 
mechanical processes. We will see that next chemical processes. The chemical processes involve the use of chemical reactions, transformations or treatments to alter the composition, structure or properties of materials. These processes often involve the use of chemicals, solvents, catalysts or heat to bring about the desired changes in the material. Chemical processes are used in various industries including chemicals, para, uh, paramaterials, petrochemicals, food processing, textiles and electronics. So what are the subclassifications photochemical machining? Photochemical machining also known as uh, photochemical uh, etching or chemical milling is a precise and versatile manufacturing process used to fabricate thin metal parts with intricate shapes and high accuracy. It involves the selective removal of metal from a sheet or plate using a combination of photochemical and chemical reactions. Photochemical machining is used in various industries including electronics, aerospace, automotive medical devices, telecommunications and precision engineering. Next is the chemical machining. Chemical machining also known as chemical milling or chemical etching is a manufacturing process that selectively removes material from a workpiece through chemical reactions. It is a non-traditional machining method used to produce complex shapes, thin sections and highly accurate components. Chemical machining finds applications in various industries including aerospace, electronics, automotive, medical devices and precision engineering. It is commonly used for the production of intricate components such as the electrical contacts, micro electromechanical systems that call it as MEMS, fluidic devices and aerospace structural parts etc. Next hybrid processes. Hybrid processes combine different manufacturing methods or techniques to leverage the advantage of each process and overcome their limitations. These processes often involve the integration of multiple technologies to achieve improved efficiency, precision or functionality in manufacturing. Hybrid processes offer numerous benefits including improved efficiency, enhanced, enhanced precision, expanded capabilities and better utilization of resources. By combining the different manufacturing methods, these processes can overcome the limitations of individual techniques and provide innovative solutions for various industries including aerospace, automotive, medical devices and electronics. What are the subclassification of hybrid processes or laser assisted machining? The laser assisted machining is a hybrid machining process that combines traditional machining methods with laser technology to enhance the cutting or material removal process. In laser assisted machining, a laser beam is used alongside a cutting tool to improve machining performance, efficiency and precision. Laser assisted machining is utilized in various industries including aerospace, automotive, medical devices and precision engineering. By combining the benefits of traditional machining with laser technology, LAM offers improved machining performance, extended tool life and enhanced surface finish contributing to more efficient and precise manufacturing processes. Next, electrochemical grinding with electrolyte jet. But electrochemical grinding with electrolyte jet is a hybrid machining process that combines electrochemical grinding and high pressure electrolyte jetting. It is used for precision machining of conductive materials, especially those that are difficult to machine using conventional grinding methods. Electrochemical grinding with electrolyte jet the finds applications in industries 
such as aerospace, automotive, medical devices and electronics where high precision, surface quality and control over material removal are essential. It is particularly valuable for machining hard and brittle materials or components with complex geometries. Next, electrochemical discharge machining. Electrochemical discharge machining is also known as electrochemical spark machining is a non-traditional machining process that combines aspects of electrochemical machining and electrical discharge machining. It is used for precision machining of conductive materials, particularly those that are difficult to mission using conventional methods. Electrochemical discharge machining finds applications in various industries including aerospace, automotive, medical devices and electronics. It is used for precision machining of complex components such as the turbine blades, fuel injection nozzles and micro components requiring high accuracy and surface quality. The next is additive manufacturing processes. Additive manufacturing also known as 3D printing is a group of manufacturing processes that create three-dimensional objects by adding material layer by layer. These processes enable the production of complex geometries, customization and rapid prototyping with reduced material waste. Here are some commonly used additive manufacturing processes are, these are just a few examples of additive manufacturing process and there are several other variations and technologies are available. Each process has its strength and limitations, making them suitable for different applications and materials. Additive manufacturing processes have revolutionized various industries, including the aerospace, automotive, medical and consumer products by enabling efficient and customizable production of complex parts. It's a 3D printing. We all know that 3D printing also known as additive manufacturing is a process of creating three-dimensional objects by adding material layer by layer. It is a transformative technology that has gained significant popularity and has revolutionized various industries. 3D printing has found applications in various industries including aerospace, automotive, healthcare, consumer products, architecture and education. It has transformed the way products are designed, prototyped and manufactured, offering new possibilities for innovation, customization and sustainability. So in this, uh, the subcategory is stereolithography. The stereolithography is a 3D printing technology that uses a process called photopolymerization to create three-dimensional objects. It was the first commercial 3D printing technology and is still widely used today. Stereolithography is commonly used in industries such as automotive, aerospace, healthcare, product design and engineering. It is particularly well suited for applications that require high accuracy, intricate details and functional prototypes or small scale production of parts. The next one is selective laser centering. Selective laser centering is a 3D printing technology that uses a high power laser to selectively fuse powdered materials together to create three dimensional objects. It is an additive manufacturing process commonly used for producing the functional prototypes and used parts and complex geometries. So selective laser centering finds applications in various industries including automotive, aerospace, medical, consumer goods and manufacturing. It is particularly useful for producing functional prototypes, complex parts and low volume production where strength, durability, etc. So these are the uh, different classification of non-traditional machining process. So after this uh, session, I hope everyone understand how we can classify non-traditional machining process. Thank you.